Hey everybody. I'm sure many of you have seen all these kits you can buy at places like AutoZone or Walmart that are designed to get all the yellowish out of your car's headlights. Let's say you have a vehicle that has plastic headlight lenses on it and your car is, let's say, I don't know, five, six years old, if not older. You may notice that your headlights have started to oxidize and get yellow and not work as good as they used to. Now here's this Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is an 18 year old vehicle. It's a 96 model with 245,000 miles on it. And first I tried using one of those kits and it did uh, okay, but we could have done better. But guess what cleaned them up to looking like this? They get you a look at that and look at that. Now there's some condensation on this one over here, but Toothpaste is what done that. Yes, when you see stuff online about toothpaste being able to clean the headlight lenses on your car, it's no myth. It's actually true. Now, I didn't use Arm & Hammer and Advanced Wild on these. I used um, Crest Pro Health. But basically, I get all these um, free samples from the dentist all the time. I don't have anything I have no use for them because I use... Um, <laughs> Aquafresh toothpaste. So, I figured I had to use them for something. So basically all you really need is some toothpaste, a couple of rags, and some water. Nothing more than that. Well, if you have an actual buffer, that would actually help too. It'd make, it'd make things a little bit easier, but look at this rag here. This is from scrubbing the headlight lenses on the Grand Cherokee. Look at all the stuff that come off onto this rag. And look at the headlights now. They're clear. Now, of course, they might be just a tad bit yellow, but trust me, they look a lot better than what they did before. So, anyways, we're going to do this demonstration on a different vehicle. We have a variety of vehicles to try this on. We've got this old one Dodge Durango here. Its headlights probably need it. Oh, yeah. You got this 05 Chevy Silverado. And it's 98 Toyota T100. I think we'll do the demonstration on the, on the Silverado. So, I'm gonna set my stuff here and get my camera ready. Set the rags up here. Toothpaste up here. Now, as funny as that Honda CRV, um, its headlights were cleaned by the dealer that my mom bought that car from. So. It doesn't need to have its headlights done. But basically, I'm going to walk you through how to do this. There's quite a few videos on YouTube about this. So I guess we're going to start with the leftmost one. And as you can see, these are starting to get, you know, kind of foggy looking. Start out with this headlight here, which feels rough on the front. All we gotta do is splash a little bit of water on it. Just have to get it wet. Spread it around. Now it doesn't look quite as bad when they're wet. But clearly it does need to be cleaned. I'm going to take this toothpaste here. We're about to see how good or how bad the Arm & Hammer does at <laughs> cleaning headlight lenses on the car. And you don't really need a whole lot. Well, I guess you do need a good bit compared to how much you'd use on your teeth when you're brushing your teeth. But um, anyways, just squirt some out. And use the rag you're going to buff with to spread it out. I think this toothpaste here would do just fine. And begin buffing the lens in a circular motion. And it requires a good bit of elbow grease too, so bear down pretty good. Need to get 
avoid them over this way. Try to get along the edges too. And to be honest, the longer you, the longer amount of time you spend doing this, the better your headlight lenses will look. Have a look at that. Look at that mess. So it come off that headlight lens. I think the arm and hand works pretty dang good if you ask me. So just think you could spend a ton of money. Well, it kind of varies depending on what kit you buy. You could spend a you know you could spend more money on one of those headlight restoration kits. Or you could just buy some toothpaste for a lot less and get just as good, if not better results. Now, let me go ahead and rinse this off. Just rub it off. You know, let me get you a close-up. Of course, it doesn't look absolutely perfect, but um, let's get you a close-up. That looks a lot better than it did before. Now let's look at the other one. See how dirty that looks? Now, of course, um, these haven't got real severe yet as in terms of, um, you know, all the oxidation. But when you rub your finger across the front of the lens, it does feel a lot smoother. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up this truck, and I might even do the demonstration on that um, T100 over there. Okay, I just finished doing the um, headlights on the Silverado. Now let's try the ones on the Toyota. Now this one here, headlights never been cleaned before. This and this is a 16-year-old vehicle too. So let's see what we can do here. This will be a bit more of a challenging test to see if this will work on older headlights. Now obviously for the Grand Cherokee, it works just fine. Let's see what we can do with the Toyota. As you can see, headlights on this one are very yellowed out. Let's see if we can change that. Start out with the left one. Always when you look in front of the vehicle, the left hand one. I got enough toothpaste left. Patch, I'll go find me some more. I'm sure, I got some more free samples laying around somewhere. What do we do here?
Let's see. I can sort of see a difference. I think you can see it in the video too. Now, of course, it's getting a little bit darker out here, so it's kind of hard to really tell for sure. Let me try to turn the headlights on and see if you can see a difference that way. And it's locked and I don't have a key. Let's see. It's kind of hard to tell for sure. Obviously the camera can't really do a good job of dealing with the light. I do think the one on the left that I scrubbed does look a little bit better. Let me get the camera off the tripod and get you a closer look before sun sets. There's the one I just done with the toothpaste. See, it looks pretty clear. And there's the one I haven't done yet. Notice it does look a bit more foggy. So there is a considerable difference there. At least when you feel the front of the headlight lens, this one feels very smooth. This one does not. It feels very dirty. It's a combination of, you know, road grime along with, you know, the fact that the plastic oxidizes over the years. So I'm going to do the other one right quick for the sun test. Give it enough food paste. I should. Yes, yeah, some of that is dirt. So the toothpaste does do a good job of getting all the dirt off, to say the least. It's very long toothpaste. And what else is funny? My hands smell like mint. <laughs> They're very slippery. I'm going to use all that because it's it needs it pretty bad. And again, spread it down just a little bit. And start buffing it in a circular motion. And again, if you have a buffer, it's recommended to use that.
section and wipe them down one more time to rinse them off. Anyways, here's a dirty looking rag. All the crap just come off all the headlights I cleaned. Now that does look a lot better than it did before. So, so it's proven that the toothpaste trick does work. So anyways, hopefully this is some helpful information for you and thanks for watching.